Hello Akuma fans, Charlie with the Gossiker Application staff. Today we're going to be talking about the soft limits or the barriers in the uh, Akuma Turning Centers. These are really handy. I had a customer notice that, hey, you know, that when I have to move my turret all the way to a, a stopping point, I should do it right there, in order to index the tool station. I do that in a program, I do that in manual, it's kind of a pain. Well, it is definitely a safe feature, but you get to set how safe you want to make that, uh, that barrier. Let's just uh, move everybody forward a little bit, and you'll notice now when I push the tool index button, I get no response. That's because, hey, you're not sitting on one of the soft limits. Depending on the type of the machine that you have, you will may only have to satisfy one soft limit, or you may only have to do the x-axis. Just depends on whether or not you've got a subspindle and a y-axis and all these other uh, variations that Akuma has. So what we're going to do here is we are going to tell the machine where is a safe position to index instead of just assuming that the x-axis or the z-axis needs to be all the way at its travel limit. Because I'm using a two spindle machine here, I want to point out that I do have two completely independent sets of soft limits, the areas of safe tool change. And we'll go into that in just a second. Let's do a little angle change on the machine so that we can see what the heck's going on. So you notice that as of right now, I am not at a travel limit in my Z axis, but I am in X. And so I am safe to index the tool changer. By the same token, on this particular machine, if I go all the way back in Z, I'm not at a stop in X, but I'm still able to index the tool changer or the, the turret. So here's how I'm going to set my safe limit so that I can minimize the amount of rapid travel that occurs in a program before going to uh, change a tool. My trick is to move the turret to a position where the longest tool in my turret is currently clear of the material. This is my z-axis position and I feel comfortable with that being the location for safe indexing. I'm going to come over to the machine panel, find the parameter button, and touch that. Now normally when you first power up, you'll probably see this screen here, the common variables, and we can either item down one time or touch display change and find the user parameter. If you don't see user parameter on this list, it means it's been screened out and to get it to show, use the right arrow key, select menu change, and make sure that your all display function is checkmarked then you'll have the user parameter right up here on the top. So by touching it and then closing the display change window, these are the parameters currently for my number one spindle, and these are the soft limits. So I've already decided that, let's go back to my main screen, I've already decided that this is a safe position in Z for tool change. So on my user parameter page, I'm gonna find the Z axis, and I'm going to find the positive variable limit P. All of these guys down underneath, I'm going to ignore those. Those are machine coordinates. They will change for us when we change our program limit. So let's just deal with these two guys right here. We want the positive limit in Z to reflect where the machine is now. So exactly the same way we would pick up a zero point, I'll highlight the Z positive limit say calibrate zero input. Now it has taken the current machine position in the program value and it's set that as my variable limit. So now if I come back over here I am not anywhere near an x-axis uh, stop but I'm safe to change tools. One more, there we go. I can do the same thing for X if I decide I don't need to come up that high. I'll bring it down to its safe position, 
come over to the parameter page, find the x-axis positive limit, do the same thing, calibrate zero input. Now if I come back over here, you'll notice that now when I command a home move such as G0, X30, Z30, instead of going all the way up here where it would have gone before I monkeyed with the limits, now that's it. That's as far as this machine's going to go, right there. And I'm safe to, change, to index from tool to tool without any problem at all, whether it's manual or in a program. Now the downside of this is that if I have to utilize my presetter, obviously when that thing swings down, it's probably going to be all the way out here. I'm not able to touch a tool. So I'll have to open those back up in order to use the tool setter. I'm going to show you how to do that in just a second, but one thing I do want to show you before we move on is that we're at the stop right now for spindle number one. If I select spindle number two, if you happen to have a subspindle machine, now we're wide open. And the parameter page is now showing us the number two spindle with its own set of parameters. So I can repeat the process for each spindle and thereby have the, uh, have the soft limits set independently for left spindle and right spindle. So now here comes the problem. How do I reset this? if I've clamped this very as far down as I have. If you have a subspindle machine, it's fairly simple. The strategy being I want to move the turret to where I want to call a safe limit and set that parameter. However, I can't move because I'm up against the soft limit. Oh geez, if you have a subspindle machine, that's a fairly simple solution. I'll just switch over into spindle number two, and now I could move myself up and around, position the turret where I felt I was safe, and repeat the process. Make sure I switch back over to spindle one, parameter, calibrate zero in X, calibrate zero in Z, and now, I have removed those soft limit barriers that you saw just a moment ago. What do I do if I don't have a subspindle machine? I'm going to go back to where I was, having the tool right off the face of the part. Oops, not set. Calibrate zero. Don't make that mistake. Calibrate zero. So now once again, I have restricted my axis motion, but I need to open that up in order to use my presetter or because the job is finished, I'm done. I want to set it back to machine standard so that I can move on. Again, to repeat the problem, I, in the previous function, moved the turret to where I wanted it to be and taught that position to the machine. Well, now I'm unable to move the turret to that position simply because, hey, I'm already up against the soft limits. So here's my favorite trick. Going back to the parameter page, if I select my x-axis, I want to open it up to the largest number available to me. So my trick is to highlight the x, and I'm going to add something preposterous, like 50 inches. And in doing so, the machine throws up an error saying, hey, your soft limit is well beyond the maximum travel of the machine. And by the way, just so you know, there's the maximum travel of the machine. Ha <laughs> ha, 18.503, that's exactly what I needed. So now I can just set that to 18.503, and now my travel is wide open. Same thing for the z-axis, I'm gonna add 50 inches to it, get the alarm that says 36.299, fine, set, 36.299. I'm rounding off, it's not really critical, but now I have the ability to jog my machine all the way up and all the way out, even though I'm still in spindle one. So as you can see, using those soft limits is a very handy procedure, and uh, I do it on just about every setup just because it's quick, it's easy, and it saves me a couple of seconds per cycle time. If you have any questions about this, please feel free to reach out to your local, go local Gossiger application staff, and we'll be happy to uh, help you out.